little, hey, a little bit of fellas. Come to think of it, I think I am actually almost done. Um, almost done with this game in terms of like programming. I mean, most of the features have actually been completed. The only thing is, I want to work out a couple of bugs and I want to make a couple of spooks. And I'm gonna go through the text file up on uh, Google Drive and go through everything, make sure that I've actually put in everything that I was going to put in. So, uh, player, please, not you, player, thank you very much. Windows Media Player, because I can't work in silence. Because if I work in silence, all you're going to hear is... <laughs> Not good. Not good. Here we go. Alright. Uh, so the first thing that I actually want to fix is the the window bullshit thingy. And the way I'm going to fix that is by adding another surface. Okay, so lighting... Backdrop lights equals surface create. Good. Okay, so what I want to do now is I want to go into the draw event. Yes. So this is only done if instance player exists. I don't know if I actually even need this. Oh well, anyways. So surface reset. And then we draw the surface. Okay, good. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna plug in another script and I'm gonna drop this before. Um, so this is backdrop lights. Okay. So the backdrop lights gonna go above here and I wanna just plug in the name of the surface and this is what I'm gonna do set target uh, oh I actually want to copy this thing as well make sure we recreate the surface it is if it gets deleted which is what happens when you um, de-click the game window or minimize it, it deletes the surfaces all right so now I need this to be drawn with alpha, uh, comma, zero. Beautiful. And that, now, what I need to do is I need to, with obj underscore player, uh, what I want to do is I want to subtract the player's sprite from the thingamadicks from the uh, all the backdrop lights lighting okay so uh, draw set blending mode and bm underscore subtract I want to copy this for shit and I want to plug this in here uh, bm normal and obviously after this I want to say uh, surface reset target now with the player I'm actually gonna do a script that draws the player actually I don't even I don't think I even need this to be done with the player or do I let's see player draw yes I do okay so S C R underscore draw player. I think so. Yes, maybe. Yes, I think so. Uh, I might actually. <sighs> oh yeah, I think I might actually do this. View with view height. Um, I'm gonna actually have to duplicate this uh, 
and this is surface. Or minus. Okay, so the reason I want to do this is because usually when we use the draw sprite event, we subtract the view x and view y uh, from the x and y position of the drawing coordinate because we're not we're not making a surface that's the size of room. We're making a surface that's the size of the view. And since the view moves, we need to subtract its motion and you know blah 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 yada yada yada. Okay, so uh, zero 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 that's our default value. We also need to add two more values. So sub x sub y. And we're gonna go ahead and say sub x is argument 3 and sub as y is argument 4. So now we're gonna say um, we're going to say minus view underscore x view and view underscore y view and they both have to be at 0. We'll, we'll see how that works out. Uh, so in here, we're obviously going to have to subtract this. So x, 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 and x, x. So now, we need to do the same thing for y. So minus y, 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 and y, y. Save. Now that we have saved, uh, let's give it a try. So now we need to find. Uh, oh shit, Pickles, hold on a second. Before we do that, we actually need to... Hmm. here into the backdrop light. So first of all, we clear, then we draw, yes, so then we draw, then we subtract, and then we go to the actual lighting system and draw backdrop lights. So surface, name is uh, the backdrop lights and zero, zero? No, 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 they have to be drawn with the, um, the x view and y view is, so, I think so, yes, yes, that's where they have to be drawn, so, have to go x view and Y view. So if I did this correctly, <sighs> probably not, but oh well, this is why we uh, do debugging. If I did this correctly, the player's sprite should be subtracting, it should be subtracted from the this bullshit. In fact, it doesn't even actually show anything, so I know that I did that wrong somewhere. Also, I need to figure this stuff out, which I think I know where it is from. Is the fact that I'm, um, where is that? End game event. So, yeah, we have the end game event, we have an end room event, which is 
this from the surface. Speaking of which, what do we do with that? Uh, I need. No, oh, no. Nope. I need to copy this. I need to delete this surface as well. Okay. So what did I fuck up? Obviously the first thing that we need to do is we need to make sure that this stuff is drawn. Now where do we draw this stuff? This surface is only the width and height of the view. So, so then I don't think we need to subtract the view from this one. Maybe let's let's first of all let's get our lights back. That's the first thing that I actually want to do. So I know the lights should be working now, since they were working before, before I started dicking around with all of them saying, oh, look at that, nice fade in. Sprites. So what we do here is actually go through this logically. We create a surface. A surface that is, for all intents and purposes, we actually don't need to do this. Let's tend to the backdrop light. Okay. Um, so we create a surface. So anything drawn to that surface would technically be at the zero and zero coordinates, which is why we need to subtract the x. Oh, hold on. That's, that's that. Subtract the x, and we also need to subtract the y. I think I have a bit of a first of all the name of the script was misspelled, second of all uh, I do the double minus there, so which means that this has to be that and this has to be that. In other news, I do need to get this back. So, let's see. All this stuff is drawn back there. So that means that 
right. This. This right here has to be. Let's see. This right here has to be drawn at that. X and Y of the view. Logic. The view is the size of the view, not the size of the roof. Which is why we need to draw it. the X and Y positions of the room. Come on, give me a window. Obviously, I'm not going to be able to see what kind of shenanigans we have up here. Uh, so one thing that I got to keep an eye for my, my next game, since I won the, um, that other game that I said that I wanted to do a production video of, um, I wanted to make sure that I actually follow the, like I upscale with a fairly large resolution, considering that this choppiness is caused by the function that prevents everything else from being choppy, or from being drawn weirdly on the screen, so I'm just going to have to up the resolution in order to make the view smoother. Come on, you sons of bitches, give me, give me a, give me a window. God damn it. Really, never, not a fucking, not, really? Would you? Okay. There's that thing. Oh, okay, we've got something, so. Right now, it's being drawn. Oh, and there we go. Okay, so I know that the um, I know that the thing is being drawn properly or being subtracted properly. So I know that much. The only issue now is. Okay, almost. I just gotta fix that for you. But anyways, uh, the only thing is that it's currently being drawn directly on the screen, but it shouldn't. Or I should say that it should. Let's see. Definitely need to draw the surface, but the l it's the lights that are on the surface that need to move. So here we have uh, with object spawnable. So here we have the X and Y position. to the screen. Hmm. So I can't put minus plus x view. That will effectively cancel the whole things. But what will happen if I remove this. I'm going to keep the script open just in case I need to control Z this bullshit. But just out of curiosity. Hmm. Very, very dangerous. Okay, so I got lucky back then because the thing with this spawned right at the 
first block. And I saw the curtain there, so I fucked it up and missed it. Um, oh, okay, we've got something. It's moving in the opposite direction, though. So, if I'm correct, there's the window. It's moving in the opposite direction. So, if that's the case, then maybe, maybe, son of a bitch, I can't add it, can I, if I move over here, not fucking right. Where's my mouse? This is where the light is supposed to be. <sighs> Jesus fucking Christ. This is where the light is supposed to be. So, I, okay, the way it's moving is it's adding. Okay, so it's. So maybe I gotta do. I know this is probably not gonna work, but maybe I gotta do zero. Zero? If that's not gonna work, then I'll try minus minus. I'm kind of trying to guesstimate how these values work with each other because I know the fact that I'm every surface is drawn at the beginning, so at zero zero coordinates. Huh? Okay, so it's not it's not moving anymore. So in that case, this. Minus, minus, maybe, probably not. I'm not dealing with the surface anymore. We are dealing with. Oh my god, yes. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful. Okay, so that stuff works now. Now I just need to. I just need to fix this where it's being drawn because this has to be on. This has to only be drawn at the X or not X and Y. So maybe I. I don't actually need SCR. Yeah, maybe I just need to SCR draw play. Oh no, never mind. I'm not using the new one. I'm using the old one. I'm using the old one, but it was working. I just need to now figure out the position of where I should be putting this stuff in. So if it was not working like this, then. Then I think if I do use the extend one, the minus one, then by adding the uh, the x view and the y view, so maybe a plus plus. It is gonna subtract it though, so that's not gonna do us much good. gonna do us much good. Eh, it doesn't hurt to uh, dream. Yeah. Okay, no, so that did not work. Oh, actually, oh wow, that, that is actually kind of creepy, the fact that there's a little shadow there. 
following me around, but that is oh, that is almost correct. So it's it's gotten the whole y pers y orientation wrong. So maybe I should do minus minus, which means two negatives make a positive. And now we'll add. That will add the value in that case. Okay, let's go find ourselves a window. Um, ah, fuck it. What the fuck? Okay. Almost. Almost. God damn it. So maybe, actually, since the Y. Maybe since the. Maybe it should be zero, not subtracting anything. Considering the Y location of the player stays constant throughout the entire game, it doesn't it doesn't jump, it doesn't go anywhere. So maybe let's find us another window that's open. Mind you, should beg. There we go. Oh, no. Almost. But he is right. As you can see, he is actually right. Oh. Hold on a second. Why is he moving? Why is he moving along the X axis? Oh, this is. Fuck. This is. This must be X view, not Y view. Technically, this has to be Y view, or maybe not. No, just leave that as that. Okay. Find another window we shall now do, and that suddenly stopped working. And I don't know why. Fuck pickles. Probably because. Kinda trippy. Did it just stop drawing the thing? What the fuck? That game just appeared there. Oh, I just noticed it. Come on, give me an open window. see the shadow but it is being subtracted from the X location so negative 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 and we're gonna make a positive That the window the window itself has not yet been fixed. Maybe the first one has, but oh, interesting. Oh, but this one hasn't. So obviously, it's ultimately not being drawn properly. Um, okay, so. Let's actually go ahead and try to figure out the window for ourselves before going into this bullshit. So, okay, so first of all, obviously the surface has to move 
with the camera. So this is 100% correct. Otherwise it just stays at zero. If it stays at zero, it's not doing us any good. So, since that is moving along with us, we need to compensate by moving the source footage in the opposite direction to compensate. So window. Window Mandela. Okay, so oh, creepy as fuck. Okay, so that is clearly ha has its stuff added to the position. So maybe the source footage should have that stuff subtracted. So let's go ahead uh, and just do this along the x-axis right now. Maybe that will compensate Git. Clearly not the most glamorous way of solving a problem. It is clearly a mathematical problem. But I remember dealing with this exactly the same in, oh, in a few diff- Wow, that is just creepy as shit the way this thing just runs past. So, it is here. So maybe I gotta multiply by two. Okay. No, that's just gonna move it twice the speed. Unless it's gotta be added to two. It's moving in the opposite direction of the the view. thing. Give me a window. Oh, look at that. It looks like... Okay, well, it looks like the, um, the view is staying where it should be staying, but for some reason, being it does not seem to follow what is not following the window huh. this is just the source file so technically it is being displayed right now but the problem now is probably maybe this the fact that the um the player is not following the same thing? Maybe. Could very well possibly be that the player... Eh, no, maybe not. Oh, we'll find out in a second. And... Nope. That's not it. So... It is... Following the same thing now. And we are talking about the surface that's got to be an issue right here right right over here mm hmm this maybe have to actually take place at zero zero because everything is drawn at zero zero In 
inside of the surface set target. Everything inside has to be drawn at... Oh, oh fuck. Okay, so... This... Uh, there's no shadow there? Not yet. But this, I think, can be fixed by not multiplying this by 2. technically was moving in the right direction but it was moving twice as fast in that direction okay here we go uh, let's check okay so we have the windows actually being drawn properly this time and I need to fix that for Let's see, we go minus x view, obviously we're going to have to do minus y view. See so much work you have to do. Um, height, height. So much work that you have to do just to fix these tiny little bugs, right? And then after you make these games, you try to sell them. You have assholes walking up who say, why isn't this game free? You know, why isn't this game, uh, well, why do I have to pay for it? You fucking are. It's a fucking product that people spend time. I'm sorry. I was presenting Artag Rise and Omegle to people. Okay, so that is actually working properly now. Um, sorry. So I was presenting Artek Raja and Amigo to try to get some votes to see if people actually like the game, and a lot of people like the concept. So that is definitely a good project to work on because there is a demand for it. Um, and I have come across, I think out of all, I've, I've gone through like a couple of hundred people maybe, and I've gotten from 240, yes, like 240 opposed to almost 290 like it's like 283 284 right now and at that point my game got greenlit which is pr probably also thankfully to the point where I uh, try to propose the game uh, on the forum when I said I, I had two games on greenlight and I couldn't work on way home considering I needed extra hardware and extra um, software licenses for that it's including not even including the um, the educational materials, so, uh, educational materials, so I said, let me complete Artag Rise, which is what I'm concentrating on, um, you know, not right now, obviously, this is, I just want to finish this, because it's a small game for Game Jolt, um, and I've come across a couple of people who went, you know, after I presented them the game, they, they said, w is it free? And I'm like, it's, uh, it, there were like 10, 15 people asking, like, is it free? And uh, I mean, come on, dude. If it's if it was a free game, I would have definitely mentioned it because it's a selling point, right? You know, if I'm I'm presenting my game, I'm presenting all these features. If I have not mentioned that it's a free game, then why the fuck would you ask? Obviously, if it was a free game, I would have mentioned it because it is a selling point. If a game is free, you know should just make a separate game <laughs> a separate version of the game with microtransactions and just send them only to them it's like yeah buddy it's a free to play game yeah oh you want jump you want the jump function yeah well that's that's actually um yeah you gotta like uh you gotta buy the uh the artag dollars and the artag dollars uh can be bought for you know with like your your real dollars and you know, like one Artag dollar is like 20 real dollars, and uh, you need like 60 Artag dollars in order to get the jump function. So yeah, you know, fork it up, buddy. It is a free-to-play game. You, you can freely download it. <laughs> yeah, just to nerve some people. That's what that's what that's what piracy does, and that's what free free um, free content does. I mean, 
yes, it's it's been prominent in South Park for such a long time. It's even worse in film and game, uh, or in film and music, because with the you know with like with music especially, there's almost no DRM for music. You can just plug in your microphone hat uh, microphone in uh, input or your your headphone output to the microphone input and just re-record whatever you're listening to that's on a DRM platform and that being said there's really like almost none existent DRM features for for music right and the thing is there's so much piracy this like piracy in music in music just absolutely ridiculous there's so much um Fuck, there is so many artists who decided to get into music, who release all the free music, they write new track, they release it for free, and what happens is, everybody who's listening to that music gets desensitized to the purpose of purchasing hard work, purchasing the music, pl paying for the hard work of the music, so they f they feel that they get entitled for this project and i know this is just turning into a rant uh our a rant i'm going to just going to have to uh, i'm going to have to save it for the next time but yeah you know, like you get what i'm saying it's like if you're a game developer and you put so many hours into a game and you want to sell it why the f why the fuck do people just assume they're they're entitled to free shit well, I know exactly why because there's they've been provided for so many fucking things for f paid things for free that they just they just think it's a norm now. You know. Anyways, okay, I'm just you know going on a rant here. This is not not what I need. Okay, uh, so let me actually go ahead and not subtract anything from the player's position and see how that works it's probably not not gonna show up in there but you know whatever okay so find a window find a window dun dun dun. Fuck. find an open window okay before i actually forget um I okay. I can just leave that stuff over there. These were my you know, original times, but you know that <laughs> if we started this from scratch. Um, okay, so I need mirror spook, audio spook, um, window spook, and. now for now I will we'll just I'm just gonna leave that as that okay <sighs> window come on give me a window Little ass bag give me a window no thank you oh okay so obviously it's still following the X view so I need what did I have here before minus view x view so maybe if i okay so back then it was actually adding so right now it will subtract the view so let's see if that's gonna do us any good maybe it will who the fuck knows no almost um the only thing i seem to be missing is the y coordinates so for y I do minus minus okay so I can I think I can go ahead and put y in here as well the only thing is that this particular uh, this particular thing is going to be a little bit offset just a tiny bit up almost almost so now I just got to deal with that little offset that's happening right there maybe if I'm actually hold on I have an offset thing here so maybe if I put like five 
and phi. Yeah, okay, I can I can actually adjust the offset in here. That should uh, work out just fine. Because that offset was actually there originally to deal with with the um huh? Oh man, almost. Almost. I almost got it. So uh, what was the offset in the uh huh. It looks kind of interesting actually. Uh but not not yet. Uh huh. So what I need I have him actually What if I set this to one? Just out of curiosity. Uh what is the offset that I'm using? Uh let's let's put this at six just for shits and giggles. It's kinda weird that the five five offset actually worked. Can't quite um can't quite figure out Can't quite figure out what the hell is going on. But the fact that the surface is screwing up just a little bit. Um, uh, okay. Here we go. So, oh, yes, that's right. See, the reason that's screwing up a little bit is because. Um, the reason it's screwing up a little bit is because if you actually look in the mirror, if I can find a mirror, I really want to find a mirror on this level so I don't have to look for another another uh, window. Why is this room so fucking empty every fucking time? Not every fucking time, but most of the times. That room has fucking nothing. Weird. I don't suppose it's a bug in the code, and that's the fucking wall. Okay, so I'm gonna have to... Oh, there's the window. F two times. Two times there was a window. Okay, come on. Here we go. So, as you can see, the window reflection is a little bit more pixelated. Actually, a lot more pixelated than the actual game. Now, I said this was an interesting style choice, but it's just the way the surfaces are done since we're working at such a small resolution the surfaces that are created do not deal with scaled sprites that are actually this pixelated because we're working with a really tiny um we're working with a really tiny resolution here just scaled up so the fact that we're, we're creating a new canvas of this resolution uh, where all the sprites here are actually upscaled um, upscaled sprites from Photoshop so the fact that I'm getting a weird light over by the window by the contour is because the surface is this pixelated however I can turn it to an advantage if I actually try to maybe displace the players um, the player's uh, shadow, or not the shadow, the player's sprites that are being drawn, displays them downwards, I can actually get a positive look on this. So as you can see, there is a tiny bit of a shadow, but I'm also getting this outline on his head. So as you can see, this actually might work out pretty well. In fact, what I could try to do, I mean right now it is is it is subtracting the view, so it does look kind of interesting. Obviously not, not as well as I kind of wished it was but unfortunately this is how this is how the um, the surfaces work I might actually lift it up just a little bit instead of nine I'll do like seven maybe you know what if 
I can draw it twice, just out of curiosity. Draw it twice. So, definitely not limited. Just, just do, actually, that might actually solve some of the problems. Like, here we go, we got the, our little thing up there. And now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna draw this again. This time with maybe like, uh, yeah, like 11 point also. Let's go to an extreme, see how that works out. Okay, there we go. Oh, okay. That actually looks pretty damn good. Obviously, that's not the best thing, but it actually works. So we get our little, our little thing there, and we get an interesting looking shadow, which does look better over here. And the fact that the mouse actually kind of does that, it's honestly, at this point, it's fine. I could probably uh, actually have the mouse subtract the mouse sprite uh, and have the mouse uh, below these lights, but yeah, I don't know. Whoa! Oh no! Oh no! This looks even creepier now. Okay, so as far as this goes, I think. That's right. In fact, you know what? I might actually even add the mouse. Um, so with... Uh, where am I drawing the mouse, actually? Mouse draw. Uh, okay, so... So... Fuck. Well, I can draw the mouse. Um... At least I can't draw the mouse. I'm gonna have to, in that case, fuck, I'm gonna have to create a new script. Eh. For the quality. Let's, let's try this out. So this is gonna be also a minus. So minus sub underscore x sub underscore y equals equals so argument zero argument one now the only place I believe I need to subtract the thingamadix is right here minus and minus so now I can just do this and for x and y, we can add these. Subtract mouse. I don't think that's going to work. I don't think that's going to work because of the pixelation of the surface. I just realized that. But maybe, just maybe, it won't be as bad. So, once said before reading sub x sub y and y sub x sub y um hmm good question so maybe i am actually gonna declare them right here sub x sub underscore x sub underscore y sub underscore x sub underscore y Arguments zero one should be working. Sh oh fuck! Sh no, no, that's correct. I'm just being paranoid. Paranoid for nothing. Not said before reading. Object mouse dot sub 
why. Well, this was in the script. Sub underscore why. And why are you being a douche nozzle? I don't know. Also, why do you only complain about the Y and not the X? Obviously, you are biased. Y minus sub Y. This should not be the case. Draw mouse, uh, script mouse, draw minus. View X view, view Y view. Why do you want to be such a bitch? Yeah. Hmm. Still doing the bitch thing. Okay. So what if then? In that case, if you want to be a fuckbag, I'm just going to have to say uh, right here with obj underscore mouse, we're going to draw self. I know that most likely this is not going to work out the way I want it to, but just on an off, uh, off case, if it does, you know what I need to do? I need to take out my e-reader and start reading again, uh, because I have not been reading. Okay, here's what I'm gonna do. I have mentioned I think the fact that I think I think the fact that I'm just getting stuck on words so many times is because I lack the reading vocabulary. And I like the vocabulary from reading, so I can't put my thoughts properly. Um, and the pro the thing is, I have bought so many Stephen King books for the ebook reader, as well as like I bought the entire collection of um, I bought the entire collection of what's his face, what's his name, H.P. Lovecraft's horror stories. Actually, not not even just horror; it's his entire collection. That was sold on the EPUB uh, format readers of the Kubo uh, bookstore. Bought his and uh, s someone else. Someone else, uh, another big name. Um, fuck, hold on. Someone, another big name in the horror. H.P. Uh, Lovecraft, come on. Uh, Authors like H.P. Lovecraft. Edgar Allan Poe. His complete collection of his horror stories. I've bought both of them. They are on my e-reader. In my, um, in my uh, fucking carrying bag. I should take it out. In fact, that carrying bag is not doing any favors for that e-reader. Because it's not in a wrap. But it is in the compartment, so I actually want to take that out and start reading it again. The e-reader is, I swear to God, this e-reader is a goddamn miracle. The fact that the, the official books, like you can't do this with the PDF files, but the official EPUB books, you can access dictionaries from your e-reader without any internet connection, which is absolutely phenomenal at uh, helping me, you know, obviously translate the words I don't know and... Um, gaining the, the needed vocabulary uh, that I'm clearly lacking right now. Uh, draw text. So I I have and the Stephen King books are also on it so I really I really like 
the horror genre, as you might have guessed, <laughs> as I've said time and time again. And um, I really got to start reading the, um, his books or their books. Not draw text. Draw sprite. Hold on. You know what? Uh, fuck. We're, we're an hour in. Okay, here's what I want to do. I'm going to quickly take a break for this recording. I'll see you guys in the next episode. I actually want to look up another thing. I want to look up the aforementioned um, text style game because I really need to like fix the fact that I'm fucking up so many words on the keyboard and this is like a fresh thing I don't know like would I have Alzheimer's or something but uh, who knows but I actually do want to look into type games typing games just so that I could improve my fucking typing speed and the fact that I would not be making so many goddamn errors in here so yeah I'll see you guys in the next video I'm just gonna take a short break <laughs>